Hey guys, this is Paper Lore Plays, and welcome back to our Undertale adventure. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Undertale was originally released in September of 2015, and my original Let's Play of the game was released in early October of 2015. Now, a lot has changed since then, but uh, my love for the game has remained the same, despite the fandom's uh, various issues, despite the game's popularity, despite everything that has happened in that time. I still love the game. It is now October 31st, 2018, and yesterday, the Undertale Twitter released a series of interesting uh, messages, supposedly from someone hiding in the game's files, a certain somebody that most of you probably already know. The message is said to return to the Twitter in 24 hours. 24 hours later, a link to a website was released, deltarune.com. A program was available to download from it. They said to refrain from talking about the program for 24 hours, so we are going to respect that wish, and uh, while I am recording this on the day it is released, it will be released the day after. I just wanted to sort of check out this program, see if it was in any way interesting, and share it with you guys if that was the case, because like I said, I still do love Undertale. And this is actually really exciting to see something new. The website warns that there may be moving or flashing imagery, so if you are photosensitive, please take care of yourself first. And uh, let's get right into it. Let's get right into survey program English from Deltarune and see what Gaster has to tell us. You accept everything that will happen from now on. That's not concerning at all. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's a bad sound. That is a very bad sound. Are you there? Are we connected? Buh! That's me. Excellent. Sorry. Transform fit to screen. Truly excellent. Now you can see this. I was just, uh, I'm messing with OBS. Now, we may begin. First, you must create a vessel. Select the hero that you prefer. Oh, I thought this was Frisker Kara, but it seems like it's slightly different. I need to turn the volume down here. Which one looks most like me? Actually, are these the six souls? Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this... Oh, jeez. Which one looks like me? Which one has kind of an anime curl? I'm going with this one. Select the torso. I'm gonna go with the jacket. Select the legs. There seems to be not really much of a difference. This is your body. Do you accept it? Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Uh... Pain is your favorite food. I guess spicy would be pain. Um... It's either sweet or salty, but I'll go with sweet. Your favorite... I have no idea! A, B? What color does it like most? Green. That's an easy one. Please give it a gift. Kindness. 
How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Hope. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Yeah, that's the photosensitive warning. Understood. Name your vessel. Lore. We called it Lore. And what about the creator? Oh, your own name. I didn't know those were different. Lore. Of course. Of course. Do they know it's the same name? Of course they are the same. Lore. It knows that I did the same name. Thank you. For your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris? Wait. It's been forever since I did this voice. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, all right? Is this another one of the souls? Closed drawer. Okay, yeah, it's using all the old Undertale controls. It's a beautiful day outside. Is this one of the other souls? Oh, no. <laughs> I had head cannons for the six human souls. There are CDs under the bed. Classical jazz, religious ska. There is also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. The drawer is mostly empty, except for a school cross-county shirt with a tear in it. There's nothing useful in the drawer. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Your bed. It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Okay. Are we at, are we at home? This looks different. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded and there's no green. Are we the kindness soul? Is Chris the kindness soul? A cactus, there's not much to say about it. Is he gonna say it? It's only you. <laughs> the door is locked. Okay. All right. So, sprite works changed here a little bit. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails. A scientific re refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. That's his name. Oh, it's a little bit strange here. Oh, this is the bathroom. Oh, my phone is going off. It is a spam number, I think. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo. And a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. I appreciate the apple. That's, that's good. It's a toilet. Flush it. You flush the toilet! <laughs> You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys body spray, spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. Seems to be almost entirely full. They have bacon flavored everything, I guess, or bacon scented everything. Bacon flavored. That too. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. 
There's some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamon batter <laughs> baked on, caked on the stove top. I'm smiling a lot, a lot right now. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Garbage bags? I have like a vanilla scented garbage bag. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Actually, yeah, we're Chris. Okay, what was our what was our select button? Uh, stat Chris, weapon, pencil, armor, bandage, money two. Call home, ring. The phone is ringing, but you can't get it. You're already on the phone, after all. Tortle's nice chair. It's cherry <laughs> Wasn't that a meme? Was that a meme? I stopped being involved in the fandom after a while. It's the TV. It doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Okay. Chris, there you are. You might. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Set Caddy? Uh, Snowden Buddy Undyne? Libra Verbi? School Victoria teaches at? Oh, the remix. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy. <laughs> oh, hugger back. No. And, and Alphys, too. <laughs> I like Alphys. I was just surprised to see Tenny. And I think Monster Kid? So, uh, does everyone have a... A snake? A s uh, oh, Chris. Uh, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so, uh, walk around and find a partner. Okay. Okay. The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images. And, rarely, an image of two buff superheroes embracing blushing. I was expecting anime. You check the time. It seems to be time for class. Um, Chris, the hope is that you choose someone in the class? Alright, wouldn't have put it past. What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork and... Uh, hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? Don't worry, Mew Mew. you always be my partner. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Ms. Alphys if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Ah, uh, Chris. Late again, I see. Huh? You need a partner. Sorry, I'm already partnered with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it. Your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> not. I actually want to get an A. I guess that's not an option. Yo, Chris! Show up earlier next time! I forget what his voice was. I ended up having a partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying howdy partner like a cowboy. Click, click, tap, tap. Okay, again.
Chris, you know, Jockington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo, even since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Partner? I hardly know her. Ah ha ha, what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. That's right, Chris. I got the good partner. And we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. Because I need money, and I'm also very funny. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that all the dialogue is here. I don't want to miss anything. Yo, Chris, you're lucky. I'd rather be partnerless than this. <laughs> Ask elsewhere, Chris. I actually want to get an A. If you can't get anyone, maybe your mom will be our partner again. What happened to your face? Not yet. You just keep doing your thing and Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Chris! Oh, ah! They're stars! Tim already has partner! Tim partner with. Egg! I love you. You are precious and you're doing so good. Do you want to be partners? Sure. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve this. Abort! What? But Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can you please speak up? Hi, Susie. Garnet? Am I late? Uh, no, you're fine. We were just, uh... Choosing partners for the next group project, and, uh, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. Alphys, what is wrong with you? <laughs> now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Me as a teacher. No, okay, she already figured out the assignment before. She's just writing it on the board. Uh... Has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't lift our class without some. Uh, how about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. And C -C Chris, can you go with her and make sure she, um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Don't worry, Chris. I've always thought Susie can't be so bad, you know? I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Chris, didn't I say being late was a bad idea? Hmm, it's almost as if you should have, as they say, listened. Click, click, tap, tap. Don't die. Chris, if I had arms, I would take off this cool hat in remembrance of you. Chris, don't listen to him. It's not that bad. You'll probably survive Susie beating you up. You're just gonna fa fail when she doesn't do any of your project. It's like we always say, Chris. You Suze, you lose. Uh, that's not very reassuring, huh? No. Yo, Chris, I'm sorry. If I had just waited to be your partner, you wouldn't have to be hers. She's gonna pound you to pieces, Chris. I love the faith here. And then kick the butts of all those little pieces. Chris, just keep running and don't look back. 
Hey, Chris, if you die, can I have your brother's CDs? <sighs> yeah, take off his head and put numbers to you. And if you have time, could you say hi to her for me? Alas, Chris, I already tried to help you. Uh, looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, astral wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. Chris, what's the holdup? Go out there. Um, the holdup is everybody thinks I'm about to get beat up. This is very mean, said Ed. Never hatch. That's rude. Okay. Fine. Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? I saw you eat a thing. Did you do a drug? Hmm. You can't even say. Chris. <sighs> this is how I die. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. Oh, thank goodness. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face. Nah. Chris, you got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Oh, given this tutorial we're talking about, ouch! <laughs> you should probably know something. Okay, all right, let's get this over with. We get more chalk. Moves back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. You haven't gotten it by now. Your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. You look through the frosted window. A blurry yellow object is teaching a bunch of blurry board-looking objects. Locker is locked. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones were giant hawkheads. And screech at any students that make contact while dancing. Seems legit. You drank from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. Yeah, I don't put my... I don't put my mouth on it. I just, like, kind of hover near it. That's, that's what I've always learned to do. Chris. What? Realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? <laughs> Actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, that's not. Wrong way, Chris. Chris, you just gonna skip school? What, am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? Nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. Chris, if you skip school, your mom will have a heart attack. You're probably correct. 
God, can you walk any slower or what? <laughs> I get it. No use to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Are you gonna shove me in the closet and lock me there? That seems like something you'd do. That is an ominous closet. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? You afraid of the dark? You afraid of the dark, Susie? What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... Gaster? Both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. <laughs> Let's try to find a light switch. Chris, if you leave me here, I'll... You'll what? Yo, what, Susie? Yo, what, Suzanne? That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? Gaster, what are you doing? You think we'd have reached the end by now? Hey, Chris. I think this closet's a. Uh broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we worked hard enough. Alpha's one strong so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Why do I get the feeling the door's not gonna be there? Well, it was there! What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us! The floor, it's For a second, I thought that was Metaton and had the color scheme. What? What is this character? What is this outfit? Like, it looks like us, or, but the hair is different. I mean, I guess we just fell down. Is this the underground? Gaster, what did you do? Gaster? Uh... At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... The name changed. The light only you can see. Oh, wow. Okay, this is longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> 